It's going to be a life lesson on what it's like to be on the road and have a problem with your RV. Maybe two, maybe three. Huh. You don't want to see Darla's face right now. So anyway, we're in, we're actually in Charlotte, North Carolina at my son's house. Beautiful, beautiful place as you can kind of get an idea. It's real pretty beautiful houses. I'm going to go ahead and pass this off to Darla so she can film. Since we left Texas, our refrigerator has slowly but surely been warming up in the refrigerator and the freezer. And we've replaced the cooling unit. Our first cooling unit went bad. I re replaced it with another coolant, which immediately started leaking. Then I got another cooling unit a couple of days later. This was around Christmas two years ago. So we're coming up on the anniversary of it. We got a, uh, another cooling unit, and we got it in, got it installed, got it working, got everything back together. We get make it through the end of Christmas trees, it's still working. We go up to the high desert to go visit my son who now lives in North Carolina, and it started leaking ammonia again. So I had to get a third one and I replaced it. So it's been working good since like January uh, about a year and a half ago at this point, maybe a little over a year and a half. We get down to Texas, it was working fine until about the last week and a half we were there and it started warming up, warming up, warming We noticed that the milk was spoiling real quick and everything. So to make kind of a long, 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 long story really short, and I don't want any tears, our cooling system's out again on our refrigerator. So we've lost all our food. It's the freezer where we're on, barely, but the refrigerator does nothing. So I have one of those ordered. We're gonna meet up with it in Arkansas and I'm gonna replace that. We tried a, a third mystery. We had to pull the refrigerator out to put the third mystery in because of the way the cables run. So anyway, we're gonna to have to pull it out again and put a new cooling unit in. Also what happened is on the way here, we lost our dash air, air conditioning. So what happened is, is, and I'll show you, this is our old fans and you can probably see them the other one gets over here. I've taken it apart. So this is this is the old burn-up motor that won't turn at all. It's fried. You can see where the wires came out. It's fried. And you can see where the center, uh, where the, the fan bolts to the motor is off-center. It should be over here. This thing was no good. I had to grind it to get it off because here's the deal. First, we, we went to Napa. Well, we went to about three auto parts stores. The third one was Napa. Of course, they said they had it, and it was only $169 for these fans. Now, if you go on, on Amazon, you can find them for as cheap as $15, but I wouldn't put a $15 fan on here. I finally found a place that had the fans, and they wanted like... $69.95 a piece. That's this fan. This is the this is the part. I have the other one still in the box. Of course, I bought them sight on scene because they had to, to fish them out for me. So when I got them, you can see they're just totally they're totally different. I mean they're they're just the whole shape of the things are just totally different. So there's no way to mount it up without either doing major modifications on the uh, where the fans where this would mount up so what I did is I took this fan all apart and this is one of those MacGyver things so normally this part would go on here like this but when you put it on there like that the blade rubs now this now, you, now this is my old piece okay this would rub, the fan would rub on the inside. And I was like, oh crap, I'm gonna have to use that other one and go through all that modification. Well, I have a weird brain, it takes a minute. You know, it's, it's not that I'm losing my memory, it's that I have so much, it's hard to find sometimes. So anyway, what I decided to do is see whether this would work. 
So I put the fan, the fan motor in from the other side. Instead of from this side, I put it in from this side. And you put this cool, cool little deal on here. I haven't got, I'm not gonna screw it down right now, but I just want you guys to see what I figured out would work. That uh, turns perfectly. There's perfect clearance. Everything, this is a better fan. This is gonna draw a lot more air. And this is gonna bolt right back in. So I had to butcher their stuff a little bit, but it's gonna work good. I assure you, it's gonna work good. So anyway, I'm gonna give, uh, we're gonna take a little break here, and I'm gonna take the other one apart, and then we'll uh, show you what we're gonna do. If you're ever uh, in a situation here where you have to do this, and I mean, I have to be honest with you, in this lifestyle, you have to be prepared to modificate everything because it just it's just really not real fun so these screws they're going to be on the inside and we definitely don't want those coming out because the thing about it is is now that i know how to fix it it involves preserving these cages so if these screws were to come out and interface with those fan blades with this fan blade that would be the end that would be uh then you would have to be cutting parts out of the motorhome and fabricating. And let me tell you, where we're at right here, there doesn't seem to be a lot of uh, places to do that. So, it's really beautiful though here, isn't it, baby? It's gorgeous. Really, truly. I'll tell you what, it's it's as pretty as Arkansas, but it's it's more, it's more big city, huh? more people yeah. and stuff and uh, it's nice though I mean it's uh it's definitely a nice place of course my son would really like it if we moved here <laughs> so what so there did, it is now, what see? did you do putting those bolts in though that well they're underneath now see yes. there's the other end of them but how did you put them in with what with red loctite yep. everything got red loctite red and loctite. I know everybody's gonna say that's kind of overkill red loctite is but um, what I found about red Loctite is, it's overkill until you need to take it off. It doesn't ever hurt. I have some blue Loctite in here, but like I say, I don't want these things uh, flying off, exploding off. You can see even the even the circuit breaker took a beating. We changed that. I had one fan that was working, and uh, and I tested this, and it was it was bad. And I looked up in there, I could see the wire was chopped off, as you saw the picture in there. It was gone. So I knew the other fan had been working. So I thought, well, maybe this breaker just got bad. So I put a new breaker and it would last an hour. Maybe. <laughs> and then it stopped working again. But even one fan made it cool. And, and now we're gonna have these super duper blades. They fit in there pretty good. And this is cut away. You can see how this is. And then here's the trick. See, this is the deal. These are the little mounts. This is how it mounts up, top and bottom, with these. And uh, those other ones, they're wider, and these are these are too tall. They they uh, they won't fit in between my brackets, so I would have had to modify all the brackets and everything. I got both those fans um, because the guy was having a hard time supplying them for me and we got them finally late last night. But see that? Look at how nice that came out. Woo! That's pretty exciting, eh? Anyway, the, the guy was like, here, man, I'm gonna cut you a deal. So I ended up getting them for about, about $45 a piece instead of 167 or 69 or whatever uh, uh, Napa. I, you know, the thing with Napa is, is they always seem to have everything. This time they, they did not come through. But, uh, and I walked into Napa, I have to tell you, with a bad attitude because when we first walked in there, well, actually I called them, they put me on hold for a half an hour. And I walked in there and there was an old guy sitting in a chair and first thing he did is jump up and run in the back. So, I was not, ha I told him I'm still on hold. <laughs> told the other guy. Anyway, they pulled out a fan, I thought it was the right one, but and I think it was, but we went back this morning. I was gonna just, I was gonna fall on the sword and 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 just go for it. Well, she couldn't find it. She didn't know where it was at. So, and she showed me one. She said, this is the only 14 inch fan we have. 
So I figured, okay, well, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna roll the dice here. I'm gonna go back and see if I can do something, maybe just change the fan motors or something like that. Anyway, it's worked out. I mean, it's uh, most of this stuff is somewhat interchangeable. And as you can see now, I'm telling you, we're gonna have some air conditioning now. Looks pretty good, huh? Mm -hmm. Everything fits, everything is nice and ready to go. So anyway, thought I'd let you hear the final product. We did have to go over and uh, get a relay, new relay for it, but man, it's working great now. Nice suction. That's the old MacGyver repair thing there, but now we should have air conditioning. Oh, by the way, you never know who might show up around here. See this guy? Him and his wife Brenda are here. We're meeting them for the first time, and this is pretty exciting. So, uh, another part of being a full-time RVer that most people don't know you get to do, and that's meet people. Exactly right. Meet a lot of people, and a lot of like-minded people. People watch you on on the tube for a while, and next thing you know, they show up at your door, whether you want them to or not. Huh? Yeah. They just show up. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Please uh, hit the like button if you like this video and uh, leave some comments. We'd love to hear your comments. So, guys, have a great day. And just know we're going to have air conditioning. Now we've got to go fix the refrigerator. So, life is crazy, and that's the way it is. Talk to you later. Bye.